This is me, and this is my mate Marty, and we like cars. Lots of cars. We love buying them, fixing them, modifying them, racing them, and even destroying them. We've driven cars in countries all over the world, but now we're setting our sights on our very own backyard, the Australian Outback. We'll be starting in Sydney on the East Coast and travelling west to one of the most desolate and dangerous places on the planet, Central Australia. And to get there, we're going to try and borrow cars from people we meet along the way. This is Lend Us A Ride, Australia. We've got our hands on a Ford Capri and we're getting it ready for Outback Travel. And I'm off to the wreckers to get some more parts. Ford Capris don't usually come with bull bars, but that's never stopped us before, so we're going to make it fit. I've got to make up some mounts to make it fit the car. And I'm getting us a massive new antenna for our CB radio. We've got some new rims and tyres from an old Hyundai because the ones on the Capri were absolute rubbish. Thank you for letting us use your car. Uh, thank you. Oh, I'm leaving on me car. And Linda, thank you for letting us use your shed. We really appreciate it, mate. It's a pleasure. You guys do drink beer, right? <laughs> You're right. <laughs> OK, great. You're right. Now, in, in exchange, you can carry these Hyundai wheels inside. Thank you. We've got the roof shooting lights. Um, we've got the beer. We've got uh, Castrol Edge, high performance. we got the uh, coolant. Uh, <laughs> We are leaking coolant at the moment, so that's just to take with us. That's some concentrates at the last heat. There's another one that's going inside from Hyundai to the Capri. It's going to be amazing. Also got Marty. Absolutely oh, amazing. Yes. Got the antennas. Yes, got ah. snorkel. We got the snorkel. Brilliant. And heaps of these. Heaps Fantastic. of them. Oh, Love it. There we go. So we're all good. Ties in. These on. We're going to be shooting roos in no time, boys. Oh, roos shooter supremo. Oh, These yeah. are the only things we had to pay for. Everything else he gave us for free. Really? We got the rim with the rubber on it. This was 35 bucks a side. Seriously? Seriously. So this whole thing was like 140 so bucks. For the, whole the thing lot. is though, like it would have cost us more than 35 bucks to replace each of the tires on yeah, that. Absolutely. So we got the rim and the tire. We're rolling Hyundai style, and but you know what? this is bigger, bigger sidewall. Exactly. Wider, it's just safer and, and better. So yeah. we just got to make sure they fit. I got a feeling it might scrub on the inside because when I was under the car afterwards. It doesn't look like there's much room between the inside wall and the strut. We'll give it a try. Uh, we'll try it though and give it a go. But 35 bucks a side, man, it was a bargain. Neville, what a legend. Yep, love it. Gary is a welder by trade and he's making sure our bar will withstand the biggest of roos. I'm removing the spoiler to make room for our roo rack and I've disturbed one of the Capri's local residents. We've also made a new badge that we think more accurately describes the car. The bar is on. We're putting some of the original bumper back so it looks extra stealthy. A little trick we learned in Japan, you can hold an entire car together with cable ties. Oh man, we have lock nut. Oh. Yeah. That one. 
I got something here. No lock nut. If he's smart, it's down here, underneath the spare wheel. Can you see anything in there? I can see that. What's that? What's that? Yeah. Sounds good. Oh man. And winning! Oh yeah, as long as that's the one that actually fits those wheels, there's a few others in here too. Oh, there we go. Oh man! Oh what? Safety first. Are you serious? Well, that explains um, some of that vibration. That is literally That's just washers to space out the tyres. Look, they don't even to change the offset. And they've been on there for a long time. The dodgy wheel spaces go where they belong, in the bin. And our new fat wheels and tyres are installed. And with that, it's time to pack our bags and hit the road. After one more important installation, our Japanese gear knob. The battery terminals are rubbish, so we've added a tech screw to create a better fit. See you later, Lyndon. Thank You're you a legend, boys. mate. See you, boys. Thank you so much. Have a great trip. Thanks, mate. Bye bye. Big city slick and Brian Dad song flappers. I wonder how far they're going to get in that. See you, man. Oh my god. So Marty, I would consider that a successful day in the workshop. As would I. That was a great workshop. It was awesome. And we are now properly equipped for the Outback with a Rue Destroying Capri. This is a one of a kind. There's not another Capri anywhere in the world like it. And I think it's fully equipped. It, it's fully equipped. Yep. We, we could cross any desert in the world in this. I was actually thinking Dakar Rally, you and me in the Capri. We could do that. I mean, let's let's get to the Outback first. All going well though, let's Dakar this thing. Our Capri is ready. We've got a Roo bar, new rims, new tires, new lights, a Roo rack, and a couple of new friends coming along for the ride. We continued heading west, and we're gonna get as far as we can before it gets dark, because dusk is when the Roos come out. making great progress until we realised we were completely lost. With no map and no GPS, Marty decided we should go that way. So we did. Is your window broken as well? I think so. It's a bit cold now, Mark. I love convertibles. Being warm's good too though, isn't it? Yeah. With the roof not working, it was at this point that we realised that the heater was broken and we were getting cold, really cold. We've made our way to Trundle. We asked the local pub if they had any odd jobs and they said the locals are in need of some entertainment. You guys enjoy that? Yeah, oh. loved it. 
Hey guys, this is for a bit of uh, petrol money. We're trying to get to the outback in a car that we borrowed from Parks. I don't know if you guys have got any. Uh, if you enjoyed the music. Go. Oh, thanks. Multiple coins. Very generous. Hey. Thank you very much. And uh, and the ladies, and not that really impressed. Enjoyed it. Oh, great. Please enjoy your meal. And uh, we're staying at the Trundle Hotel tonight. You're welcome to come wow. and visit any time. Okay. Thanks, guys. We got dollar, dollar twenty, dollar forty, dollar sixty. That gets up. Dollar sixty-five, and I don't know what that is. We got a dollar sixty-five and a feed. That's enough probably for almost a liter of petrol plus dinner. Well, it's better than nothing. It's much better than nothing. Right. Well done. Good job. We spent the night in the Trundle Pub, which has the longest wooden veranda in New South Wales. What an awesome record to hold. We awoke early and stepped out into the early morning sun and crisp country air while the locals were still reeling from our incredible performance last night. We even got the roof up on the Capri. Trundle is a small farming community 420 kilometres west of Sydney. It's got one of the widest main streets in Australia, enough to park 21 cars in parallel across the main street. This is big enough to turn a bullock train around in, which is why it was designed this way back in the 1800s. If you've ever been worried about the rental prices where you live, then Trundle may be the town for you. In 2011, old farmhouses were rented out for just $1 a week to encourage new residents into the town. Like a few of the country towns we visited that love their music, Trundle has an ABBA fascination and an ABBA festival is held here every year. Not wanting to get lost again, we thought we'd get some reliable directions from the locals. Well, that's country service. Thanks, mate. Well, I'll have the door for you. Thank you. Good morning. Morning, how are you guys? I'm good, thanks. How are you going? Good, thank you. Hey, I was just wondering which way it is to Cobar. We've come from Parks. Do we keep going that way or do we go that way? Yep, no, keep heading that way. Follow your nose. Yep, and how long will it take us to get there? That's three hours. Okay. And is that all sealed road? Like... All sealed. Beautiful, nice and smooth. Oh. Call this a sealed road, but at least our car works. That's not good. I'm pretty sure it's just a hose, hey. Like if we shorten it and clamp it, it'll probably be alright. Man, we dump look at that. It's coolant everywhere. Oh, with some hose clamps, we'll be right, hey. We'll be able to fix it. All right, bye. Hey, Marty, chuck us a water. Thank you. Car survival tips. When broken down, leave your bonnet up to alert other road users that you have a problem. That's a good boy. Drink up. It's not going to last long. How about you? You alright? Looking a bit dehydrated. Good? Happy? I thought you guys were dead. Hello? Hello? Yes. Hello? Hello, how are you? Hello, okay. Um, sorry to disturb you, my mate and I have just broken down around 5 or 6 k's uh, down the road. Uh, I'm wondering if you've got any hose clamps or a shed or something here? Oh, we've got a workshop. There might be some down in the workshop. And what do you do out here? Oh, mainly cattle and crop farming. Yep. What suburb is this? Where are we exactly? 
we're about 400 k's from Sydney and our nearest town is Parks, 35 k's away. Okay. And how many, um, how many cattle have you got out here? Um, about 400. Okay. We've got a few hose plants here. Oh, that is perfect. Look? That is perfect. Is it okay if maybe I take a couple of them? Because I don't actually know where the problem is. A couple of big ones and small ones. Is there any way that you could lend me a ride back to where we've broken down? Oh, I'm sorry, my husband's away today and there's no vehicles here. What about that? This is a decommissioned school bus that was last used during the 2000 Sydney Olympic Games. Since then, it's been converted into some homebrew accommodation that's used during the harvest season and it's travelled all over Australia. That's unreal. We gotta fix the car and I gotta drop this back because it's gotta do the school run in about two hours. So we gotta to get to it. I don't even wanna know. We are back on the road again, heading towards Coba and nothing is gonna stop us. We've been rescued by a farmer called Matt and he's got a fresh batch of fuel on his property that he uses for his farming machines. Oh, you are a lifesaver, mate. Thank you so much. This is it. How many litres do you get in there? 2,000. 2,000, wow. Um, we've got sheep, wheat. Yeah, wheat, wheat's our main grain, lupins, oats. Yep. How many sheep have you got out of here? Uh, 1,500. Oh, okay, a lot. And how big's yeah, your land all up? There's oh, 5,000 acres here. Wow. Uh, run, yeah. A little bit so bigger than an apartment in Sydney, isn't yeah. it? Matt's property is absolutely huge and there is always work to do on a farm. So I'm going to give him a hand to thank him for the petrol. Mine, Rissa, you have to be sort of driving straight on yeah. it to, if you go at an angle, it won't, it'll miss it. Yep, auto steer by GPS. That's unreal. <laughs> And we do the end of this road, we skip a road, turn around and come back near the other side. Fantastic. We're making food, man. Exactly. Providing for the world. Making food. It's literally the food bowl, isn't it? And every time you go and eat something, this has to happen. Exactly. Pretty amazing. There's no other way to get it. Yeah, man. It's incredible. We take it for granted, don't we? Oh, absolutely. Next time you pick up a muesli bar or a bowl of cereal, remember it's people like Matt who are out there every day making it possible for us to eat good quality food. With all the farm work done, it was time to hit the road again and continue towards the Red Centre. With a full tank of fuel, the sun going down and an open highway, this is what it's all about. We've travelled a lot of road in the little Capri, but I've got a feeling it's not going to last much longer. There's a grinding sound coming from one of the front wheels and we're still losing coolant. So pretty soon, we're going to have to keep our eye out for another car. <laughs> 